Hey everyone, this is Zach, just a guy from Indiana, and it is hard to believe we are already here on episode five. The Build Up, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, July 20th, Netflix, Dallas Cowboy Stadium, let's go. If you are new to this channel, episodes one through four have all been about debunking everything you are hearing on social media, and also debunking some of your top name podcasters about this fight. Today is no different. Today is no different. Today may be the most popular opinion that's floating around right now, and that is that this fight should not even happen because of Mike Tyson's age. Well, it is correct. Mike Tyson is 57 years old, and it is also correct. Mike Tyson will be 58 years old on the day of this bout. But there's someone that I want to talk about. And his name is Steve Ward. And if you don't know who Steve Ward is, it's okay because I'm going to fill you in right now. Steve Ward is from the UK. He was an active boxer up until the age of 61. He was active from 1977 to 1987. Took a break. And then 2010 to 2017. So he took a break for 23 years before stepping back into the ring. And when he did, he was 59. And at that point, he lost to a man named Jody Meitner, who was 24 years younger than he was. So he was 59, lost to someone 24 young, years younger than himself. So sounds very similar to a fight that we're talking about today. But here's the crazy part with Steve Ward. Here's where it's might much different than Mike Tyson. Steve Ward only won 15 bouts. He lost 41 of them. Now, can you imagine the toll that 41 losses in boxing would take on the head and body? And when they asked Steve about it, he said it's more for the love of the game. It's more for the love of the game and the sport that he loves. And so when we reflect on what we're hearing in social media right now, I just looked this morning and some of the first three things that popped up on YouTube was Jake Paul is a, you can fill in the blank, for taking a fight against a senior citizen. Mike Tyson's about to pull out due to injury. That one was found to be false right away. The third one, he is an a-hole, again meaning Jake Paul, for taking advantage of an aging Mike Tyson. So social media outlets and these podcasters are overlooking what this fight's all about and what this really means to Mike Tyson. And let me explain. For the love of the game, you have all heard it, and it goes for a lot of sports. It goes for retired athletes wanting to come back. It goes for current athletes that are having a hard time retire. Heck, there's a movie about it called For the Love of the Game with Kevin Costner. He plays for the Detroit Tigers, and he's aging and having a hard time wanting to quit because he has a love for the game of baseball. There's a Mark Wahlberg movie, a true story for the Philadelphia Eagles for football. Same thing, he's aging and having a hard time throwing in the towel because he has a love for the game. Mike Tyson's no different. And you have to remember, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul go back way before this fight was announced. About seven months ago, Jake Paul was on a podcast called Hot Boxing, which is Mike Tyson's podcast. And Mike Tyson was real excited to have Paul on. He talked about how Jake Paul's the reason boxing's becoming relevant again. Jake Paul admits that do, uh, boxing was indeed dying. And Jake Paul and his following have brought a whole new level of excitement to the sport. He talks about how his own family, Tyson, are actually huge Jake Paul fans and cheer for him during his fights. And he also admits that Paul is an indeed a skilled boxer. Another instance was when he was on Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel asked Mike Tyson, would you ever fight Jake Paul? And to Jimmy Kimmel's shock, and to also the audience shock with a little bit of laughter, because I don't think they believed it, 
Mike Tyson said, that would be interesting. So he never said no to a fight. He never said no to the idea. If anything, he led us to believe maybe by saying, that would be interesting. Now here's why this is a big deal, because Mike Tyson has always had what we call the love of the game. He hasn't had a reason to get back into it for years. Now he did do the fight against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, but that was an exhibition. And as this is looking to be a fight, he now knows he has an opportunity to take on who he has claimed to be the most exciting person in boxing right now, which is Jake Paul. And to Tyson, to have that opportunity to knock him out and win the bout, that's, looking, that's going to cement his legacy even more in Tyson's eyes, and I believe his team's eye, and I believe his family's eyes. So in instances like this, we have to remember it's not all about age. It's not all about age. If Mike Tyson can take out who he feels is the most popular boxer at this time, the face of boxing, the one who saved boxing, Jake Paul, what's that going to do for his confidence, Mike Tyson, and his legacy? We're not viewing this the right way. It's not about age at all. And you have to remember, it's not Jake Paul making Mike Tyson take this fight. It's Mike Tyson himself, a team that surrounds him since the Roy Jones Jr. fight for training. You know they have a say in all of this. Mike Tyson's family, who he's mended many differences with, loving family, seem to support him no matter what right now. I've had a say, I would, I would assume, in taking this fight or not. So to Mike Tyson, to close, this has never been about age. Age does not matter. This is simply for the love of the game. And it's another thing that all of our social media outlets have continued to get wrong. We jump to conclusions. Our top cop podcasters right away bring up the age and how dare Jake Paul take this fight and how dare Mike Tyson think that this won't ruin his legacy couldn't be further from the truth. This is an athlete going back into a sport for the love of the game. For the love of the game. So for today's video, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't had a chance to like and subscribe, Feel free as, again, we are going to track all these different topics all the way through the fight on July 20th. So feel free to like and subscribe, but most importantly, I appreciate you watching this video. Have a great rest of your day.